Today I'm in the West Town neighborhood in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment in the 1600 block of West Warren that is basically Madison and Ashland. It's a really big espresso cabinets, 42 inch cabinets. There's nine foot ceilings here so you can see there's more room between the top of the cabinet and the, uh, and the ceiling. The stainless steel farm sink, stone countertops, upgraded backsplash, a nice hood. On this side you've got a breakfast bar with electrical uh, outlets on it which is a great feature. Under counter microwave, just plenty and plenty of cabinets, a lot of counter space. There's a balcony that I'll show you in a minute, just kind of give you another look at this. Big side-by-side -side refrigerator, Bosch refrigerator. This is the living room. This corner is where I started. This face is north, so you're going to get a lot of light but not a lot of direct heat from it. You've got room here if you want to put an in-home <clears throat> desk at the end of your bar here. You've still got room for the bar stools, I feel like. Across the street, you've got Union Park which is home of the Pitchfork Festival. You can also see the city there, just a couple of blocks away from the L, the Ashland stop. This has lights and electricity out here. You can put either electric grill or a gas grill. Another look at the back side of the breakfast bar, I guess the front side of the breakfast bar, depending on how you look at it, you can see there's nice under cabinet lighting. One more look at the living room. So here's a closet here. I'll show you a little more about this. This whole section we're going to walk around here is closets. This is the in-suite bedroom. Bathroom is here. There's another set of closets. See nice bamboo floors, high ceilings. Nice ceiling fan, modern ceiling fan. So if you look back across at this closet, this unit has, right here, it has three closets that are this size. You can see there are the organizers in them where you can change and switch, kind of make the closet your own, which I think is just a fantastic feature. So there are three closets right there back to back that all fit against each other. Here is the bathroom. Has a nice stone countertop, modern lighting, a huge mirror that I'll try to stay out of. So in between the double sinks, you can see there's drawers on this side behind this little area. It's a little, a little, uh, hidden in a sense. You've got the toilet, nice big shower, glass doors. From here, this is the front door. We're kind of working this backwards. This is the common bathroom. Still the modern lighting, the stone countertop, the white cabinets instead of the espresso like in the kitchen. Tile goes all the way to the ceiling. You have a light in there also. It's a nice big deep tub. There's your front door here. Your uh, central heating and air conditioning is there. You have a nice big in-unit washer and dryer, stackable washer and dryer. It's bedroom number two. You could put a king size bed in here. So both of these rooms would hold a king size bed or if you're trying to do a bed and a desk, I think it would work out great. Another really big closet over there. Closet's a little bit bigger than the doors. Kind of give you a feel for that. And again, you can see now, you can move those shelves, you can move the, the uh, closet rods to kind of make it your own. And again, these ceilings are high, so when that window goes nearly to the ceiling, it's a, it's a lot of window there. So here we'll walk back out and go back up to where we started. To the left is the front door. So this would be as if you're coming home or coming entering, not going to the bedrooms, but going to the front living room, kind of what you would see.